Yo, what's up guys, it's Beb. So this is going to be a quick tutorial on how we can make the skin a little more real, a little more seemingly human. Um, and we can do that by adding a little bit of a translucency to it. You'll see what I mean. It's going to make the skin glow a little bit based on the light. So this will require you to have a light set up. So I just put a light on the left side of my screen over here that's hitting the face like this. But I have this shadowy side over here so you can see how the light is going to affect the skin. This is actually a really, really easy tutorial. So if you go over to your shading tab, you'll have like these shader nodes over here and you need this top section in your render mode. So we're reviewing the render mode and we have our shader tab open at the same time. And yours should look just like this where you have a image texture of your face um, right here at the top. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna link this color down to this subsurface color. Right, that's it. So now the color is linked to base color and subsurface color. And we're in EV right now. And I'm going to show you how to do EV and cycles real quick because they're the same exact thing except one button. So while in EV, EV only, you have to also come down here to materials. You have to go to settings and you have to go to subsurface translucency. This is EV only. You don't have to do this on cycles. So if I click this, nothing happened, right? Because you have zero subsurface. So we have to add a little bit. So if we go and we slide this over a little bit, and we let it load, whoa, look at that. A little bit more, a little bit more. You see what it's doing? So that's how you would create that little bit of like a, a realistic lighting glow, translucency effect to the skin by just adjusting it and finding the right amount. So being that I did this in Eevee, it's actually the exact same thing. If I go over here and switch to Cycles, it's going to do the same exact thing, except I didn't have to go down into the settings and and click that button because it doesn't exist in Cycles. It only exists in Eevee. But that's basically it.